getting towards the end of July so it's time to kind of shift gears and focus on hunting season so for the next two videos at least me and Clay are gonna be showing you our gear what we're using this year bows arrows uh, broadheads all that kind of stuff and then I'm actually gonna shoot some so we can do that and then actually we're gonna start a new series that's gonna be with Corp my little brother um, trying to get him his first deer so that'll be fun we're gonna go scout with him go hunt with him all that good stuff and follow along in his journey because he'll be turning 12 to kill his first deer but for this video today I'm just gonna run y'all through my setup um, what I use and hopefully get to kill one with this year and then we'll go shoot so to start with the release just got a true fire finger trigger pretty simple it works I tried a thumb release and I used it for a little bit but I went back to the trigger I just liked it better it seemed more consistent for me for rangefinder I've got an old Leopold rangefinder works great yeah not a ton to say about that tells you how far stuff is so the butt I've got an old Matthews DXT I got this years ago from a friend, actually. I bought it from him, and I've used it for years and haven't needed to get a new one. It's been great. Um, killed several deer with it. Killed one last year with it, and it works great. It was still when they were doing the solo cam versions of them, so it just has the one cam on the bottom. I think my draw length is 29 and a half. And then I got this just bee stinger small uh, stabilizer on the front. Got a five pin sight on it, a whisker biscuit, and then I actually got it, put new strings on it last year because they were getting really old. I mean, it's, I think this bow's from 2010, so it's not new by any means, but it gets the job done. I know eventually I'll need to switch, but for now I don't want to. I love it. It is a really good bow. Matthews makes good stuff. I'm sure the new stuff's way better, but this works for me. Um, for the arrow, I've got, I think I got it cut to 29 inches maybe? I can't remember what I cut them down to, but they're just the Bass Pro, they're just Bass Pro arrows, um, 300 spine on them. I put lighted knocks in them. I've got a 50 grain insert, and then I've got iron wheel single bevel. 175s. So I've got 225 grains out front with 300 spine arrow. So it's pretty heavy, but it carries a lot of momentum. And I've only shot, I used to shoot with uh, just some muzzy, like three blade broadheads, but I went to these last year. And I, I love them. They shoot true every time you can shoot field tips and then put this on and the arrow flies the same every time and i shot a deer with the last year and it went right through i mean these it's been a great arrow the whole everything and the arrows are cheap i mean i think it was like 80 bucks for a dozen of these arrows but i got a uh, field point test kit i put the inserts in them and then i took the blazer veins off of two of the arrows out of the dozen and then I shot them from like five yards into my target with uh, no fletchings with a with 100, 125, 150, 175, and 200 field tips until I found one that flew just true every time because all of them kind of kicked right or left from without the fletchings on there. But the 175s just hit dead on every time, so that's why I went with this size. And it makes it to where I really don't have to adjust my sights at all from the field tips. And I don't have to shoot my broadheads all the time. I have to sharpen them up. But yeah, that's what I'm working with for the bow itself. And it does pretty well. So let's go outside and shoot some arrows. So I just got a basic 
Bass Pro Target how to use. It works really well. I mean, it's just a target, so. Set up here. Shoot from there. Let's go. All right. We're gonna start from 20 yards away. Just get warmed up, see if we can hit a few. Pulling them a little bit to the left. Ugh. Need practice. Haven't done it in a while, so. We'll get better though. Practice, practice, practice. Just gotta keep getting reps in every day. That was from 35. But I'm just pulling them a tiny bit, I guess. I don't know, keep shooting. Oh, took a few shots, but now we're now we're more like it. Hitting better on. It's hot. Well, I gotta hit the shower. I got stuff to do here, but yeah, it's good to be out. Good to be shooting the bow. In the next video, Clay's gonna show his setup. Maybe he's gonna take some shots. He's got a really nice bow, so you'll want to watch that one. <laughs> But if you enjoyed it, subscribe, like it, all that stuff. We will see you on the next one, the next Carson Boys adventure. See ya.